What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cassandra and today I'm sharing with you guys an Aldi haul. I know it doesn't look like it because I have canning and things going on behind me, but I was editing my Aldi haul this morning and realized that I never filmed an intro or an outro to it because everything was really crazy yesterday. Kids were really loud, so I didn't do it. So it's quiet now. So hi, we're hopping into my Aldi haul. My total came to $220, which really doesn't seem like a lot. It's a lower grocery haul for me, but that was the plan heading into this month if you follow me if you've seen my meal plan with me video, we talked about that. I wanted to keep costs low this month so that I could allocate some of my grocery budget, my grocery budget into a Sam's Club haul that I'm hoping to do later this month. So that being said, my Aldi haul, let's just go ahead and hop in and I'll talk to you guys at the end. What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. Here is my Aldi haul for the month of August. This is a little bit of a weird month because my kids do go back to school this month, but they don't go back until the end of the month. So I'm not doing school lunchbox, back to school grocery shopping until later in the month. So this is just for the first couple weeks. We picked up some fun things because it is the last couple weeks of summer here. We want to make it memorable with some fun treats. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into the, all the things that I got from Aldi this month. I do have lettuce coming out of the garden, but it's not enough. Right now, we've had some really hot days. A lot of my lettuce bolted. I did do a second planting, but it's not going to be ready for a while. So I got some of these just to kind of supplement what I don't have. So I got three of these Caesar salad kits. They're my favorite kits. Love them. Easy sides. My kids actually are starting to really like these as well. We stocked up on a lot of berries. We got four things of blueberries. They were 180 a container, so I let my kids get four of them. We also got two things of raspberries, as you can see, already gone. Two things of blackberries. One of these is already gone. The kids already stole it. So that's the berry situation. Obviously, these are not going to last long. We did get a big thing of dinosaur nuggets. They had these again. Whenever they have these, I'll buy them. Typically, they're a pretty good price. These were $9.99 for you know three and a half pounds of chicken nuggets and then we'll just keep these in the freezer and have them for random lunches we'll pull them out every once in a while so no plan for these but just something fun and easy to have in the freezers four things of butter these are going to go right in my freezer i bought extra butter last month didn't go through it all so this is just going to go in the freezer for stocking up a little bit i always get a big take and bake pizza during the summer when I have the kids with me grocery shopping, it makes easy lunches. It's in the oven right now. We got a big cheese one. That's going to be lunch. And then I got this cheesy bread sticks. This will be a date night for my husband and myself. I'll just throw this in the freezer and pull it out. And then we'll do this and watch whatever show we're watching. So this is just a fun little date night for my husband and myself. The kids picked out these cheddar and sour cream potatoes for fishing snacks, boat snacks. So we'll bring this out with us when we do that. The kids begged me for these like goldfish turtle crackers. So I got a box of these, even though these were $5 for the box, which is insane to me. Two things of tortilla chips. We're gonna doing, we're going to be canning a lot of salsa. And when we're canning a lot of salsa, it's so easy to just snack on the salsa. So I got two bags this month. We're also gonna be doing nachos for meals. If you saw my meal plan, we're gonna do like Mexican rice nachos for a couple of dinners. So I got those. I did get stuff for some s'mores. So graham crackers, marshmallows. We'll also use marshmallows to make Rice Krispies. Got a thing of chocolates for that. And then my husband, whenever I remember, I get him the Aldi chocolate bars he really likes them so I got him a new one to try it's crunchy caramel sea salt milk chocolate I think he'll really like this so I'm gonna stick this aside for him and just let him know that I got him a little treat the kids picked out these corn dogs so this will be another fun lunch maybe we come home late in the afternoon from fishing or swimming or something and the kids want some corn dogs I'll put this in there I always let my kids pick out a fun ice cream when they're with me in the summertime grocery shopping so one picked out these dipped cookie sandwiches, which actually look really, really good. Another one picked out these M&Ms, and then another one picked out the little Oreo cookies. So that's their fun ice cream trick treats for the month. Two boxes of fruit snacks. I tried to mix it up, so I got an assorted, and then I got just a strawberry. My husband throws these in his lunches sometimes. My son devours these. These are his favorite snack. And then these are also just really easy to throw in a bag if we're going to the park or something and the kids want to have a little snack on the way home before lunch. I can hand them some, we call them gummy snacks. Hand them a gummy snack and they're good to go until we get home at least. 
One of my kids asked for these mixed jello fruit cups. I typically will just make these myself, but they really wanted them, so I figured why not? We have some fun picnic outings that we're gonna be doing and some trail hiking and stuff. I figured these would be easy to bring with. I did decide to get two boxes of elbow macaroni. These are two pounds, so four pounds of elbow macaroni for pasta salads for the month. I've been making a lot of my own pasta, but I don't always wanna do it. We are hitting the height of garden season, so this is just a convenience item for myself. Got a thing of applesauce for eating. I got a thing of creamy ranch, and I'm really happy I saw this. I need this for a pasta salad, and I was about to, I just put this on my Walmart order this morning before I went to Aldi, and it was $4. At Aldi, this is under $2, so I would've paid double at Walmart. So I'm really happy that I saw this, and that I also price checked before I went grocery shopping this morning. Another thing of ketchup, going through a lot of that summertime. A variety of cheeses. This is just what my meal plan said that I needed. So I got a couple things of Colby Jack. I like this Mexican style cheese for our breakfast burritos. I'm gonna be making some of those this month to get in the freezer. We haven't done ham in a while for lunch meat, so I got three things of ham. And I will just throw these in the freezer and pull them out as I need them for the month. That's with the lunch meat and the cheese. Just pull them out as we need. I got four sticks of Colby Jack cheese. The kids like to do these with like homemade Lunchables. So we already have hard salami or we'll do venison sausage these and some crackers and then we'll throw in like some apples or some carrots or something and that'll be like a snacky type lunch the kids really enjoy that i did get a thing of red bag of chicken from aldi haven't gotten these in forever but we're going to be doing chicken wraps and i figured just get these slice them in half put them in the tortillas and we'll do wraps like that so yummy so this is just one dinner for us i got two things of beef kielbasa I needed these for a couple recipes, so I think this is going to be two dinners for us. Their chicken prices, chicken prices in my area are getting out of control. Um, this is like $15 for how many pounds is it? Three pounds of chicken. So I think we're definitely going to be processing some of our extra laying hens this year because we have an abundance right now. We're going to cut it down our flock a little bit. So next year we're going to definitely invest in some meat birds because that's wild. I was actually looking at whole chicken steaks. It's been a really long time since we've done a whole chicken and roasted it. One of our favorite meals. Um, but they are like $20 for a whole chicken right now. And that's at Aldi. I don't even want to know what they are in other places. So yeah, that was a little bit of a shock. It's been a long time. Do you remember back before... Maybe it was even during COVID. I was talking, I was showing you guys my meal plans and every month I was getting two whole birds for like $1.99 a pound. It was like $5 a bird. Can we go back to that please? Two things of made chocolate chips. These are what we go through the fastest because this is what I like to use in all of our baking for the kids. I got two bags of onions. We're gonna doing a lot of preserving this month, a lot of canning recipes and I need a lot of onions. So I just doubled up on the onions spaghetti and meatballs for some of the kids um I, my oldest daughter really likes these so we got four cans of that for her for the month now we're heading back into like fruits and vegetables which is actually going to round out the haul but i got two bunches of bananas some that are more yellow some green ones that'll be ready in a couple days we're going to make some banana zucchini bread that recipe is going to be coming and then i want to do some chocolate dipped bananas with the kids we opted for a bag of peaches Three bags of gala apples, that's what was the cheapest. And then the kids wanted cuties. Headed out of my Aldi haul, I did need a couple of things from Walmart this month. I don't have a haul to show you guys because it was very, very small. Yeah, buddy. All I ended up getting from Walmart was some sour cream, some yogurt, bread, and then um, vinegars, regular vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and a handful of spices, um, celery seed, things like that that I needed for some of my canning projects. That was really all I ended up getting from Walmart this month. It was really small, pretty simple. My haul came to just under $100. It really wasn't much to show, so I didn't film it. That being said, that is my grocery haul for the entire month of August for my family of six. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.